this quick intermediate mat um, in the sunny spot. Come to your Pilates stance and cross back arm position. Lift your abdominals, lift your side legs. Cross one leg back behind you and take a seat to the mat. Lay it out nice and long, bring your knees into your chest. Arms down by your sides, first exercise, we're going to go into the hundreds. So lift the arms, head into your hundreds, pump the arms up and down vigorously. Breathing in for a count of five, breathing out. Tailbone is long, reaching down the length of the mat. Shoulders are rolled back and down. Tightly squeeze the heels and radiate the length out of the legs and the arms. Breathing in for a count of five and breathing out. Two more rounds. Lower the legs with control. Now I'm going to use the pole for my roll up. So if you have a pole in your studio, you could use a pole, but you can do it without it. The roll up, flex your feet, take the arms right over, but find those back ribs into the mat. The arms come up, chin to chest, and up you come. Stretch pulse to your toes. I'm just going to have a little wiggle here because I wasn't quite stretched. Well, I wasn't quite long anymore. Then we're taking it back down, inhaling and exhaling, arriving in the mat. Arms over, arms up, chin to chest. Pull the abdominals backwards as we stretch forwards. And again. slide with you. Legs reach out nice and long. Up, 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 up to go over. One more. Good. Now lift the arms to the ceiling and hold. Lift the head into the arms and hold. Now see if you can keep the arms either side of the ears now as you lift up. Up. To go over, and I'm just going to hook my feet there for a little bit of a stretch. And then I'm going to roll it down into the mat, bone by bone. And you can put your pole down to one side and just get yourself down into the mat. Okay, fold your right knee in for a squeeze. Stretch your left leg out. Now reach your right leg up and just come into have a little look at the left leg alignment and just make sure that this hip has stayed down and pull the leg in for a little bit of a stretch just before we go into the one leg circle. So take yourself down on the mat, reach both legs out in opposition here, turn this one out slightly, anchor down through the back of the ribs and I want you to imagine that there's a marble placed in your belly button. Don't wiggle. Take the leg across, around and up. One. Around and up. Two. Around and up, three, four, exhale, five. Keep the marble still. Across and up, one. Across and up, two. Across and up, three. Press down on that left leg, four. And hold on, five. Just climb up the leg again. Give it a little bit of a tug and a little bit of a stretch. And then bend the knee. Give it a squeeze in. Take the head down and then change over with your legs. Left knee in, give it a good squeeze, square the rocks off, lift the leg, climb up, and check in again here with this lower leg, right leg alignment, watch the left hip hasn't hiked up. So you're very square across your hip bones. Pull the leg in, give the stretch. Leave the leg to the ceiling, bring the arms down by your side, you're ready for your circle. Remember the marble. Take it across, around and up, one. Around and up, 
two, around and up three, around and up four, breathe out, bring it up five, reverse, across and up one, across and up two, across and up three, keep the marble steady, no wiggling four, and one more, up and five. Just climb up that leg a little bit, give it another little bit of a stretch, just make sure again that your box stays square, and then hug the knee in, and just bring yourself down, squeeze the knee in. The roll up, bring the arms up, chin to chest, and slowly roll on up out of the mat. Scooch the bottom towards the heels, pick up the front of the ankles, rolling like a ball. Tuck the chin in, nice tight ball, small as you can make yourself. Inhale, rock back, exhale, come up. Inhale, rock back, exhale, come up. Three more. Two more, lift the hips, come straight back out. One more. Good, now hold it, taking it down into single leg stretch. Reach, reach, pull, 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 pull. Good. Double pulse, pull, 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 pull. And stretch, and reach, and reach. Two more, and reach, last one. Double leg stretch, take an inhale, circle the arms, exhale. Take an inhale, reach and pause. Take an exhale. Take an inhale, reach and pause. Take an exhale, one more. Inhale. And exhale. Just drop the head down. Scissors. Lengthen the legs up towards the ceiling. Curl up. Right leg in. Pull, pull. Switch. Pull, pull. 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 Arms long. Pull, pull. Pull, pull. Pull, pull. Reach the arms. Pull, pull. Longer legs. Pull, pull. Pull, pull. Two more. Box square. Last one, legs together, support the head, double leg lift and lower as inhale, exhale. Again, inhale, exhale. Three more, exhale. Two more, exhale. Last one, and crisscross to the right, hold. Crisscross to the left, hold. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Two more. Exhale. One more. Exhale. And hug the knees in. Take a break. Knees into chest. Rock yourself up. Spine stretch. Lengthen your legs out. As wide as your mat or ten toes to the ceiling. Reach your arms forwards. Breathe in. Sit tall. Breathe out. Nod your chin to chest. Nose towards your navel. Crown of head drops down. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, hold. Now find the lift, breathe in. As you breathe out, forward you go, shoulders stay on the back. Pelvis stay steady, sit bones grounded, arms parallel to the floor, and lift yourself back up. You've got one more, breathe in. Find that lift, breathe out. Nice and active through the legs. Toes to the ceiling, shoulders back and down. Come back up again and hold. Just lean back, magic your ankles into your hands. Okay, be careful what's behind you. I'm gonna come forward slightly. Okay, bring the legs together, open them to shoulder width. Together, shoulder width. One more, together, shoulder width and hold. We rock back. Open leg rocker. We rock up and hold. We rock back. We rock up and hold. Try and keep hold of those ankles if you can. And up and hold your balance. Bring your legs together, bend your knees, and slide your legs out long. Lovely. And then you're going to go back into the mat with control. And we're ready for corkscrew. So just bend your knees in a second and lengthen your spine and bring your arms along down by your sides. Fold your knees in and lengthen your legs to the ceiling. So I'm going to do baby corkscrew, so glue the heels together, bring the legs towards you. Circle to the right, down, around to the left and back to centre. Pull in and circle left, down and around, 
and back to centre. Pull in, find those back ribs. All the way around and back to centre. One more, pull in and circle left. Around and back to centre. Hug the knees in, hands behind, up you come, ready for soar. So take the legs two inches wider than the mat. Bring your arms up nice and wide, slightly in front of the body. Inhale, make the twist. Now see if you can just twist a little bit more and push up through the crown of the head. What happens when we twist, I've gone to the right, this left leg switches off. So can you really press down evenly on the legs here? And then come back to centre. So I do want to work on the twist element. So you're going to breathe in and you're going to twist. And again, this right leg wants to kind of switch off and do something different there, but I've really got to inspire and push down on the, on the legs to lift the spine up. And then back to centre. So we'll go for the full thing. So inhale, lift and twist. Just be very mindful here. Exhale, reach across. Back arm up. Three, two, one. Pull yourself back up. Still in your twist. And then back to centre. Breathe in, lift and twist. Breathe out, reach across. One, two, three. Inhale is the lift. Still in your twist. And then exhale, centre. One more to each side. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, reach one, back on high, two, three, pull up in your twist, and centre, last time, inhale, lift, twist, and go for it. Lifting up, 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 and back to centre, arms down, legs together, great. Let's roll back down into the mat, and we're going to come into our tummies for swan, just while I sort my technical hair issue out here. So, swan, come down on your tummies. Let's take the hands, um, I'm going to do a little baby one first. So, make sure that the hips are open into the mat, the legs are together. The arms are in a T shape actually, thumbs level with maybe your eyebrows, somewhere along that line, but you can play with this. So, I'm going to lift the head, chest and neck, and then I'm going to start to push up through my arms but I'm only going to push up to my lowest ribs, okay? The seat is tight, the legs are together, and then take it back down slowly into the mat. And then if you needed to bring your hands lower down to come up higher or not so high, the arms will be further forwards, play with your arm positioning. So lifting here, lowest ribs, seat is tight, heart is forward, shoulders is down and then release everything back down to the floor. This time we're gonna come up a little bit higher. So I'm gonna lift the head. If it feels good for your spine, do you come up higher or stay where you are. But if you can try and straighten your arms here, legs are together, and then roll everything back down. The front of the spine lays out nice and long. We'll take one more, press through the arms, lift the head and neck and chest. Shine your heart forward as you lift up. As soon as those ribs come off, the abs pull in deeply. And lower it back down into the floor. Now what I want you to do is take your arms out to T-shape and just check that they're no higher than your shoulders, okay? Legs are still together and I'm gonna lift the arms and the head and the neck and the chest. Then I'm gonna turn the palms or the thumbs upwards I'm just going to see if I can get a little bit more lift there in my chest. Keep your necks long and then lower everything back down into the floor. So we do that again. Lift the arms and the head and the chest. Okay, squeeze the seat. Thumbs up. Can you lift up and take it back down? I've got one more of those. So, legs are together. Lift chest with arms. Arms forward, thumbs up. Now if you can, float your legs up. Lift as much of your body out of the mat as you can. Keep lifting, keep lifting, keep lifting. And lower everything back down. Prop yourself up on your elbows, folks, for our kicks. Legs are still together. Check in, abs lift, collarbones wide. Kick, 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 kick. Kick, 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 
Kick, kick, kick, kick, kick, kick, kick, kick, two more, last one, and take it down. One ear to the floor, hands to the small of the back, three kicks, one, two, three. Up you come and stretch. Other side, take it down, kick three times. Up you come and stretch. Take it down, kick one, two, three. Legs are tight, legs are long. One more, one, two, three. Up you come. And take it down and relax, very nice. Take yourself back, keep your knees together. Round your spine, over your legs there. For a nice long, big stretch in your lumbar spine. Take a moment, breathe. Drop the hands in towards the knees and just bring your legs out in front of you for neck pull. So lengthen the legs, feet are hip width apart. The hands, place them at the base of the skull there, not on the neck. Okay, so elbows on your peripheral vision, sit tall. You're going to hinge back an inch or two, and then exhaling, you're going to roll into the mat. Now push out through your heels, keep your heels down on the mat. Come up, lift, and then dive up and over into the legs. Push the head back up and hold. Hinge back, inhaling. Exhaling, curl the tailbone. Push and reach out through your feet. Drop the head down, lift the head, up, 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 and dive, elbows high and wide. One more time, hinge, inhaling, exhaling, roll into the mat, and lift up, don't judge it, don't judge it, and fold, fold, fold. Push the head up into the hands, that's your next stretch, or just a little bit of stretch. Bring the arms forwards, we're going to roll down into the mat nice and slowly with control. Turn yourself around for our side kicks. Line your spine up at the back edge of your mat, the legs are forwards, and we are set up and ready to go. Kick forward and reach back. You can have your hand behind your head here for sure, and that just might make your movement just a little bit less rangy because we haven't got the balance so good. Kick, kick, reach back. Kick, kick, reach back. Two more, all at hip height, reach back. One more, kick, kick, reach back. Legs together, top leg is turned out, kick up, reach all the way out and down. Kick up, reach all the way out and down. Kick and reach. That leg gets longer, you've got two more. Longer, last one, and reach it, reach it, small circles, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, reverse, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, bring the legs together, hot potato, we tap forward, tap back, forward, out back, forward, out back, forward, out back, four, four, Three, three, two, two, one, one. Lay on your tummy spokes, prone beats. Rest the head. Bring the legs tightly together. Anchor the hip bones, lift the legs, and beat the sides of the feet together rapidly. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. One more round. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Legs down. You're going to roll over onto your other side, and I'm just going to switch myself around if I'm still facing you. So line yourself up, and then we're ready to go. Top leg, kick front and back. Kick front and back. Kick front and back. And this hand, I don't mind it being there really. But very challenging to take it behind your head and then you have to find your stability while you're wobbling all over the place. Two more. Press back. Last one. Press back and legs together. Slight turn out in the top hip. Kick up. 
reach it long and down. Kick up, reach it long and down. Kick up, reach it long and down. Three more. Reach it. Two. Reach it. Last one. Kick it and reach it. Hover it. Small circles. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Reverse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Legs together. Hot potato. Tap front, tap back. Up and back. And up and back. Up and back. Five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Legs together. Beautiful. Come on to your back. We're going to have a little look at one leg teaser. So make sure the legs are away so they're in a, uh, they're not just what I call a low mountain peak. So they're not here, they'll be here. Now we're going to move your arm, your legs away from the bottom. Now you're going to extend the right leg from the knee, keep the inner knee squeezed together tightly. Lift the arms, lift the head and slowly come up, up and hold it there. So I really want to be lifted and scooped. I don't want to come up too high because I really want to keep it in my abs and not in my quad. Now lift your arms up, up, squeeze those knees together. Can you lift your spine up and then lower back down with control? Change legs, left leg. Squeeze the inner knees together tightly. Lift the arms and the head and then up you come. Keep that lovely drawing back sense here and don't let it come into the quad. Be all here in your center. Take the arms up. Now you find a little bit of lift. Lift, lift some more. And then lower back down with control. We'll do that one more to each side. So the right leg extends. Up you come when you're ready. Don't be tempted to come too high and straighten your lumbar spine. You do want to have a little seeker. Arms up, arms up, arms up and then lower back down with control. Left side, last one, extend, arms up, up you come, lift, lift, arms come up, they come up, they come up some more, and then lower back down with control into the mat. Lay your legs out long, turn yourself round onto your tummy, spread and put a swim in. Lengthen your arms out in front of you, Legs are together, bring the head up out of the water. Lift your legs, lift your arms and swim. In two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. Low legs, long legs, high arms, one more round. And down. Hands, push yourself back over into rest position, head down. Beautiful. Then you're going to bring yourself around and we're going to do seals. So hands go inside and hold onto your feet. Now just ensure that your knees aren't like flopping out to the side. You want to push your knees in, you want to push your arms into your knees. So do make sure that you've got some resistance there if that makes sense. Then we're going to go back. Watch that there's room behind you at home. Watch that there is room. Go back, three flaps, one, two, three, come up, one, two, three. Back, one, two, three, up, one, two, three. Back, one, two, three, up, one, two, three. Keep squeezing the knees in, keep pushing up with through your arms. Two more, and the last one we're gonna come up to standing. One more, you're gonna release the arms and stand. Good luck with that one. Alrighty, standing at the back edge of your mat there, Pilates stance, we're just going to take a walk out. So you're going to breathe in, lift your arms up. Yeah, so really get some space in your body here. Roll down, lift your abs, walk it out. One, two, three, four, into plank position. The heels have come apart and the heels are stacked. The head is lifted. I was just looking at my feet there. And then release the right foot and hold. Put it down. Left leg, doesn't need to go too high, keep everything steady. Front ribs up to back ribs, and back down. Chin to chest, walk your hands into your feet, connected to Pilates stance, and 
and roll all the way up. All the way. Okay, so I'm going to attempt, lift the arms, I'm going to attempt to stand on the left leg only. And then I'm going to roll down, standing on the left leg, and then I'm going to walk it out into plank, still just on the left leg. Hold it there. Okay, find your plank position. Now stay on the left leg, bring yourself back up. Okay, find your balance, arms forwards, and lift yourself up and bring yourself back to Pilates stance. Did that work? Okay. Arms up, breathe in. Now standing on the right leg, this is my trickier side, I'm going to roll down on one leg. Now walk it out, still on one leg. Now your plank position there. Hold three, hold two, hold one. Chin to chest, stay on your right leg, just your right leg, just your right leg. Find it, arms forwards, arms up, find that balance. Whew. And then bring the legs together, arms down both sides. Beautiful. So we're just finishing with some lunges. So feet are quick apart. I'm going to take, it's almost like I've got a, actually no, go into Pilates stance. It's like I've got to take a big step over a stream. So I'm going to start with my right leg. So I've got to press out, lunge, pull back, Pilates stance. Left leg, press over, pull in. Big jump over the stream. Slide it, big jump. Slide it, they get better. Slide it, slide it, step up and over, slide it, over, slide it, two more, oh, pull it in, I lost my balance, last one, and pull it in, connected to Pilates stance, arms up, breathe in, exhaling, roll down, roll down. Take your arms, sweep them back behind you, interlace your fingers and reach your arms overhead. <sighs> Let your head go. Find your breath. And then slowly bringing the arms down, curling all the way up to standing. Keep your fingers interlaced there and then just come into a final stretch. Try not to flare the ribs or lose the abdominals there. Really lovely big stretch for the shoulders. And then release the arms, take an inhale to reach up. And take an exhale to press the arms down by your sides. Good work.